fifth grade, chapter six, lesson six. Add and subtract mixed numbers. Unlock the problem. Denise mixed one and four fifths ounces of blue paint with two and one tenth ounces of yellow paint. How many ounces of paint did Denise mix? What operation should you use to solve the problem? So are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Add. So addition. Do the fractions have the same denominator? No. No. To find the sum of mixed numbers with unlike denominators, you can use a common denominator. First, they want us to estimate the sum. So, to estimate the sum, what would we round 1 and 4 fifths to? 2. 2. 2 plus, what would we round 2 and 1 tenth to? 2. 2. Find a common denominator. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So we are not going to change our whole number. So our 1 and our 2 are going to stay the same. What is going to be our new common denominator? 10. 10. So I'm going to put a 10 here. Do I have to change the bottom one? No. no. So this is going to stay as 1 tenth. How did I get from 5 to 10? Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So 4 times 2 is? 8. 8, eight tenths plus 1 tenth is? Nine, 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 9 tenths. And 1 plus 2 is? 3. three. So we added the fractions, then we added the whole number, and then we need to write in simplest form. Do we need to simplify that? No. no, it is simplified already. So our answer is, so Denise makes three, three and, and nine, three and nine tenths ounces of paint. Number one, explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. We know our answer is reasonable because three and nine tenths is close to our estimate of four. Number two, what other common denominator could you have used? We could have also used 50 because 5 times 10 equals 50. We would have to simplify though. Example, subtract 4 and 5 6 minus 2 and 3 4. You can also use the common denominator to find the difference of mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Estimate the difference. So what would be around 5 and 4 6 to you guys? 5. So 5. Minus, what would 2 and 3 fourths be rounded to? 3. 3. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. 2. Now we have to find a common denominator. So to find a common denominator, use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with, un with like denominators. So do we change the whole number? No. No. So we're going to keep this as a 4. We're going to keep this as a 2. 2. And your whole numbers always have to be um, the same height as your fraction from top to bottom, right? So 5, 6, or maybe not the same height, but bigger than your fraction numbers, right? Okay, so um, what's going to be our common denominator? 24. What would be our least common denominator? 12. So I'm going to put a 12 here. I'm going to put a 12 here. You have to change both of them, right? Mm -hmm. How did I get from 6 to 12? Times 2. Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also have to do on the top. So 5, five times 2 is? Mm -hmm. 10. How did I get from 4 to 12? Times 3. Times 3. So what I do on the bottom, I also have to do on the top. Yeah, yeah. So 3 times 3 is? Nine. 9. So now I am subtracting. Do I have a higher number on the top than I do on the bottom? Yes. Yes, so I'm good to go. So 10 twelfths minus 9 twelfths gets me 1 twelfth. 1 twelfth, and 4 minus 2 is 2. two. So my answer is 2 and 1 twelfth. Number 3. Explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. We know our answer is reasonable because 2 and 1 twelfth is close to our estimate of 2. Share and show. Use a common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators and then find the sum. Write your answer in simplest form. So, we're going to keep our whole numbers the same, correct? Yeah. Do we need to come up with a new denominator for both? Yes, we 
Yes. What's our new denominator going to be? 20. So how did I get from 5 to 20? Times 4. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. 2 times 4 is? 8. How did I get from 4 to 20? Times 5. Times 5. What I do on the bottom, I do on the top. So 3 times 5 is? 15. All right, so now I need to go ahead and add. So 8 plus 15. 23. So I'm going to have 23. 20 is. And then 7 plus 4 is 11. Is 11. Now, is this in simplest form? No, because this is also going to equal 11 plus... How many times does 20 go into 23? Once. And then 1 times 20 is 20. 23 minus 20 is? It's 3. And then I keep my same denominator of 20. So now 11 plus 1 and 3 20 is equals 12 and 3 20 is. So you have to do a few more steps than just actually um, converting your mixed numbers, right? All right, the next one. Two and three fourths plus three tenths. And it says find the sum, write your answer in simplest form. So I need to write it, this is written horizontally, I need to write it vertically. So two and three fourths plus three and three tenths. Okay. Do I need to change both denominators or just one? Okay, what's my new denominator going to be? I keep my whole numbers, right? And then I need to get new denominators. What did you guys say the new denominator was? 20. 20. How, um, how do I get from 4 to 20? Times five. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So three times five is fifteen. Fifteen. And then three times, or how do I get from ten to twenty? Times two. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So three times two is six. So now I get what's fifteen plus six? So twenty-one. Twenty is. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, is that in simplest form? No. No. So this is going to be now 5 plus what? 1. 1 and 1 20th, which equals 6 and 1 20th. 6 and 1 20th. All right. I need to write it which way, guys? Vertically, so 5 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 1 third. And I need to convert them. Do I need to convert both of them? Yes. yes. What's my new denominator going to be? 12. 12. And 1 and something over 12. So how did I get from 4 to 12? Times 3. Times 3. So what I do on the bottom, I have to do on the top. So 3 times 3 is 9. How did I get from 3 to 12? Mm -hmm. Times 4. So what I do on the bottom, I also have to do on the top. So 1 times 4 is 4. And then I need to add. So 9 plus 4 is? So 13 twelfths. 5 plus 1 is? 6. So is that in simplest form? No. No. So now that is going to equal 6. Plus what? One. One and? One twelve. Which equals? Seven and one twelve. So our answer is seven and one twelve. Okay, which way do we need to write our problem now? Vertically. Vertically, because it's horizontally, right? So three and four fifths plus two and three tenths. 
do I need to change both of them? No. No, because our new denominator is going to be <coughs> 10. So I'm going to rewrite 2 and 3 tenths, and I'm going to write 3 and something over 10. How did I get from 5 to 10? Times 2. Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also have to do on the top. So 4 times 2 is 8. eight. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11. So I have 11 tenths. tenths. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. 5. So is that um, in simplified form? No. No. So now I'm going to have 5 plus, plus one in one ten equals six and one ten. And then circle your answer. Find the difference. Write your answer in simplest form. So it's written horizontally. We need to write it vertically. So nine and five six minus two and one third. Do I need to change both of my mixed numbers? No. No. Nope. So I'm going to write nine and five six again. And then I'm going to write 2 as my whole number, and my new denominator is 6. How did I get from 3 to 6? Times 2. Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2. 5, 6 minus 2, 6 equals 3, 6. And then 9 minus 2 is 7. Is that in simplest form? No. No. It would need to be 7 and 1 half. And then circle my answer. All right, so I need to write it vertically. So 10 and 5 ninths minus 9 and 1 6. Am I going to keep any of my mixed numbers? Nope. Nope, I need to convert them. So what's my new denominator going to be? 18. 18. So how did I get from 9 to 18? times 2, so what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top, so 5 times 2 is 10, and then I keep my same whole number here, put an 18 as my new denominator. How did I get from 6 to 18? Times 3. Times 3, so what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top, so 1 times 3 is 3. three. So, 10 18 minus 3 18 equals 7 18. 7 18. And then 10 minus 9 is 1. So my answer is 1 because I didn't need to simplify. Correct? Okay. All right. I need to write this vertically. So 7 and 2 thirds minus 3 and 1 6. So do I need to change both of my mixed numbers or just one? Just one, right? So which one's going to stay the same? 3 and 1, 6. 3 and 1, 6. So that means my new denominator is 6. six. How did I get from 3 to 6? Times 2. So what I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 4, 6 minus 1, 6 is 3, 6. Three, six. And then 7 minus 3 is? Four. Is that in simplified form? No. No. My answer is four and one half. Four and one half. Let me circle your answer.